Okay. So I've been out here working slowly on our, the outskirts of our little plot of property here. We have a train going by. Hear how loud that is? It's obnoxious. Anyway, as you can see, it's very overgrown. And I've been taking the weed whacker, slowly working on it. Now, I'm showing you the unfinished spots so you can get an idea of how the whole perimeter has been. And you can tell clearly my finished spots. I'm actually almost done. I might want my weed whacker to charge so that I can uh, do it. Uh, I can get back out here and hopefully get at least that part done. I still want to do all along the edge there, but we're working on it. Um, I gotta get along on the other side of the fence here as well. And you can see how in the past, I'll see now that I've uncovered it, we're gonna have to make sure Ace can't get out right there. Um, but I'm so I'm making progress. Um, it never should have got this bad, but my health, depression, anxiety, all those may, you know, were factors. It was, Steven's always working. And so it's really hard to ask him to, you know, after he spent 16 hours working, day after day after day after day, when he finally gets his days off, it's, it's really hard for me to want to ask him to do yard work. Um, but now I'm starting to feel better, so we're getting there. Um, but I got that done, and I wouldn't say done, I've trimmed it down. And then we've got this, which just, I'm gonna basically dig all this up. This is one of my projects this year, is to dig it all up, clean it all out, replace the stones. I might wanna do that with this here too. Because you can see the stones, they got all this crap growing in between them all the way along it. I'm not happy with. And it makes it, I mean, the weed whacker can't get to all of it. It'd just be better to get rid of it. Replace the stones. Um, and then I did all the down here. And you can see a lot of it's actually not even trimmed. It's just fallen over. And so I got to come through here again with the lawnmower when I get a chance and see what I can clear out here and I gotta use a rake and clear it out and all the extra basically straw I guess is what this is turning into um, all that I'm going to kinda get a good compost started hopefully um, and uh, we're at three Oh, 15 minutes or four minutes now. That's all right. So we're coming. I can actually walk to this back gate. That I gotta fix. Is kind of an emergency deal to uh, to screw in a board there. Keep Ace in the yard. These tires need to be moved. Um, all this needs to be cleared out. I want to get this cleared out. I don't know if I want to keep this. I mean, it's a cute little fence that needs fixing. That needs to be fixed. But I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Ace can hop right in there. So it's not like anything in there is safe anyway. Um, I might just get rid of the picket fence and clean up the, uh, the rock garden here. Um, if I need to get along my, uh, 
fence line with the weed whacker I need to actually just get the whole yard um, I might just try to do the yard with the uh, mower but at the same time I don't know we got all this it's all tall can't see where the rocks are whole yard needs to be cleaned um, but again I'm out here each day that it's nice today is in the low 50s um, so I was out here doing a lot of yard work um, we gotta get that cut down um, it's a dead tree the tree itself is all dead uh, I'm gonna talk to my dad he's gonna let us borrow the chainsaw and I'm hoping we can just cut the rest of it down because I don't like how it leans towards the house it's only a matter of time before the rest of it decides it's done and then it falls on the house so that's a project for this year we gotta get this done and cleaned out of here before um, before the uh, people with the sewer comes through to install that because they're going to want to come in from over there all the way out to here because our, our drainage pipe comes in from like that angle out to here so they're going to want to go straight through this more than likely so but we're going to be cutting all these sticks off I mean it looks like it's still alive it's it's got green but these are all all going we can cut all these down to twigs and branches and then when we get the rabbits there'll be chews for the rabbits something for them to chew on um, I got these cleaned up a bit I was going to lift them so I could put cardboard underneath and lay flat across and fill the whole thing with cardboard but uh, my posts are frozen to the ground so I can't even I can't lift them at all so that's a uh, project for another time. Until then, I'm kind of using this blanket in this garden bed to try and ensure everything hopefully dies out. We'll see. Um, but uh, I'm making progress. I use the weed whacker over here and then I use my rake to kind of move pick up a lot of the stuff and throw it in the garden beds just to cover it up and then over here I was working a little bit this was on a different day not today this used to have a fence all the way around it you can see where the doorway was and the fence was all janky and you couldn't everything in here was overgrown everything was like see here here's the fence everything was like grown up to like right here I didn't like it and uh, it was just horrible um, but I'm thinking that the greenhouse might go in this spot after I clear it all out I gotta clear it out move all the rocks and then we could put the greenhouse right here granted we make sure it's 10 feet away from the fence on either side but put the greenhouse here and have the rest of our flower beds and stuff all over in that area for planting and then if I can manage it depending on how long we're here but I wouldn't mind over in that area we see all the rocks and stuff there it's all rocks it's all the way up to the the wood barn you see that rock face and it goes down and all of this is just rocks and uh, I'm thinking it would be really cool to do some fence posts around this area build a fence and uh, make a small do a small pond area here and uh, basically do a small aviary for some uh, mandarin ducks but 
I got to see. That would be way down the road in a couple years kind of thing. This is the old compost pile I tried to make before. Seems the dogs really seem to like to use this place to use the bathroom. That's when I did a bunch of yard work and I put everything over there. So you can see I did put... This is where we dump our ashes. And uh, it's a really poor compost setup. I never tried turning it or nothing like that. That compost barrel came with the property, but it was full of stuff. And uh, I just threw a bunch of apples in it from what we had. I didn't try to manage it properly, so it's nasty and needs cleaned out. Um, but no, I just need to take the weed whacker, trim all of this yard down, hopefully before spring. And uh, then when spring hits, we should just be able to manage it before the grass starts getting really big. I gotta pick up all this garbage and stuff too. But the perimeter of the yard is what I have been working on. Perimeter of our property line. Um, so. Little by little, I'm getting some stuff done on the property. It doesn't seem like it. doesn't look like it in some regards, but in others, we're getting there. i got to remind myself baby steps. So, anyway, that's my little update for today of what I've been working on. <laughs>